What is up guys, Mac B Speed coming at ya. Great follow up episode this week. Coming hot off the heels, little last slug testing we did with the hats on Blitz. Honestly, this is such a great optic, this California compliant Sightmark Wraith 4K Mac, that it gets switched around on a whole lot of different rifles. I have gone ahead and taken the time to sight this back in for you guys, and I'm gonna verify that with the first magazine of JSB Hades that I know to be accurate in this rifle. I do have a target set up downrange at about 25 yards, as well as some gongs. But my true purpose today is to really see whether or not we can find better accuracy if we go up in the grain weight as far as the slugs are concerned. I've got some great slugs, both a hollow point variety, as well as a flat nose semi wad cutter boat tail, both from Apex and supplied by my good friend Jim S. I think the first step in any pass or fail style review video is to go ahead and establish the baseline. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that with something I know to be reliable, once again, the JSB Hades, and we'll see where it goes with the slugs after that. Let's go ahead and start the recording on the sight mark. Take a quick look at how precariously close my uh, recording devices sit to my actual target. Pretty good. I definitely know I'm on target. I also know it's about 41 degrees out and I'm freezing, so I'm kind of like a palsy victim right now, doing the best I can with what I got. I do see right out of the gate that my FX Chrony is not recording the, the uh, velocity, so I'll try and adjust the late and continue. Out of ammo. I was going to keep on going. I was ready to rip that big gong. Damn. Ah, I can't get too excited and waste all my air. I've only got the one big tank in the field with me today. I do want to go ahead and stay on target. Make sure I stay on track here. See what's going on with our crony and see if we can't make it work. I'm going to go ahead and slap a paster over that initial group down there, get this loaded up with the 68 grain apex slugs, and see how they group on the paper. If they do well on the paper and we're making good energy, I'm going to switch over to the gongs. Then we'll repeat the test with a slightly lighter hollow point variety once again. Now these are the two ammunitions that we'll be using today. Both this 68 grain boat tail variety, like I said with the flat tip on it and no hollow point. A little boat tail flare at the back. And then its counterpart probably popped out of the same mold with a pin in it, the hollow point variety. Also bolt tail. Boat tail, boat, boat tail. They fit the mag. As far as sizing is concerned, I'm not jamming these things into the actual rotary magazine of the Blitz itself. They fall right into the spaces. Some people might ask, do you feel that this is too heavy of a slug to be running through this specific rifle? In the 25 caliber variety that I previously owned, I ran 43.2 grain Senecas. That, compared to a 25.4 grain JSB, is almost double the weight. In 30 caliber, that's the equivalent of putting a 90 grain pellet as opposed to a 44 or 45 grain pellet. So mathematically, I think we're within the tolerances of the machine. 68 grainers, and I do have 68 grains entered into my chronograph so that we can see the energy as well. Just saves me trouble later when I go to edit it. A chamber, but it felt tight. Start my recording. Give a hell. No energy. No energy. I hate this FX crony some days. Most days. Damn. Damn, it is not grouping. Well, maybe the best accuracy test is just to use that super accurate fully automatic burst and see if they just like pinwheel all over the board or if they stay in a keyhole. And fire ring. Oh yeah, they spread out big. Currently blowing zero feet per second. Once again, FX chronograph failing me even though the battery light is not on currently. Turn the phone off out here in the wilderness, save some battery on that as well. And then maybe just go ahead and accept that, you know what, that specific round, the 68 grain boat tail, once again, not gonna provide us the best results that we're looking for in the hats on blitz. I keep trying to push this square ass peg into the round hole of pellet gun eating slugs, but it's such a popular topic. I can't not investigate 
every opportunity for you guys. Let's go ahead and load up a secondary magazine, these hollow points, and see if the slightly different design in the tip, as well as the slightly different weight rating, makes a difference as far as our accuracy downrange. Go ahead and start my recording. Turn fully automatic off. I'm sure with that 3x zoom I like to hang out at. A little bit better than the flat nose. Oh, I blew the group. Damn. Putting me in that position of having to repeat the same type of test where will it spray or will it keyhole. And firing. Definitely did get that more linear spray pattern once proving to myself as well as my subscribers there's only going to be so many offerings of slugs that are even going to come close to working in this that we saw last week and in general our best success is just going to be found with the pellet i feel like the only way that i can really drive that point home for you guys is to switch directly back to the tried and true jsb hades pellets and then even at this higher shooting cadence that i'll perform for you at this point we should be more accurate Start my recording. Nothing we've put down range today so far holds a candle to what we just did with those 16 rounds in that 10 seconds or so. The shot cadence was good, the accuracy was repeatable, and that's probably about 50 foot-pounds of energy every time it goes bang, just from the previous data we've established on this rifle. Oh. I really, really enjoy it when I put my hands on a tool that gives me the confidence to know that it's gonna be reliable, as I pointed out so many times when I'm this far out. I'll be driving five hours today to go ahead and film these episodes. So it really matters as far as the pass or fail on the reliability of your gear. I think we've gone ahead and clicked another offering of slugs off the list of things that may potentially work in this rifle today. But if you like this episode, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, make sure you subscribe for more. With that notifications button so you can stay current on the channel as well as when these videos come out. If you really like this video, make sure you share it so somebody else can see it. And I'll catch you boys in the next one.